Hi guys, I have this Suzuki 1983, um, it's a GSX400E, I got it for my kids to learn on, now they don't need it anymore, but I cannot get rid of it. I have some inspiration like this, some really cool builds of bikes from just this model, and I'm going to attempt something like that. First time in my life, never held a welder, never taken a bike apart like this. And I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. So that'll be exciting. I have the space, I have the time. So why not? Project starts now. When she wrapped her loving arms around my neck On the dance floor at Chelsea's bar I should have turned her away but I was out of sea, I was firing, she was gasoline. The seat, I don't think we will use the seat. We will have something more fun. It's off, like so. This is the easy part, just taking things off the bike. I should have turned her away, but I was out of sea. But we were both yeah. sad and lonely after what death This girl is actually in very good shape. And we got started. And let's celebrate that with the first. This big air box here. Uh, we'll go. Here's the big battery. So we'll clean that out and get a big empty space here so we get get some breathing room. Most of the time. But I would go mad when she would turn. So let's make two piles of parts. Things to keep and things to put away. There. It against you. Okay, everything's coming off. The pipe. So this can be here if I want it. Ha! Starting look to look cool already, doesn't it? Let's see if we can get the fuel tank off. All right, tank is off. I can already see stuff and of course uh, a big thing will be the painting. Uh, we will sand it off the entire fuel tank, uh, paint it and have some nice logo there on the sides, perhaps Nomad Sweden, perhaps a shiny black tank or something like that and clean up and make things shiny. Let's see if we can get the air box off. It's only connected to the carburetors, so why don't you come loose? All right, battery, computer box, <laughs> if we can call it that from 83. It's probably an old Nintendo. I could have the air box in there and just use the same stuff, but this is a big part of the cool bike with, uh, uh, with the air filters here and everything and having this. Yeah, now it's loose. Well, 
the air box is loose too big i wondered do they weld the frame around it how should i get this out Okay, so update. I've learned a lot since last time through forums and groups. So I'm removing the big air box and replacing it with AirPods because that will free up a lot of space here. Uh, but these carburetors, they are tuned for the resistance of airflow that this air box provides. So they have to suck in the air because yeah it's it's a tight box but with the new uh, small open filters we will have much more air and the carburetors will not work so they have to be rebuilt and that's a nightmare for someone who never done it before like me so but one guy in the group he said i'll help you send them to me and i'll uh, uh, sort of um, uh, rebuild or replace the, uh, the jets in there that for the fuel and air mixture. So I had to get the carburetors off and have a look at them and just pack them and give it to him and he'll help me with that. And there's synchronization and stuff to be done. So yeah, let's do that. Here it is, carburatore, fuel and the throttle cable here. Then it's up to all these electronics, uh, welding some stuff, Seymour is the man I guess. Welding some stuff to get the battery and the electronics in place somehow. Get the saddle. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Now, WD-40, brake cleaner, and I'll just spend time yeah, de-gucking this engine. Just rag polishing and getting the engine clean. This will take some time. All right, the bike is back down. Uh, the wheels and things were off while it was hanging, but that was only to clean the rims and sprockets and things like that. I'm not making anything extraordinary uh, there. It's not going to be an exhibition item in mint condition, but yeah, just nice and clean. Uh, this is all connected and so, but I need to find a place to to put this and probably under the saddle somehow um, here so because I want this area here to be sort of look through and now somehow I need to get this carburetor in here I think it's easiest from the other side make them a little bit more slippery this is not easy, I tell you. Perhaps left one is also in, yay. I also found out that this part, which I don't know the English word for it, but vevhuset in Swedish, um, it has a ventilation. So this hose is the ventilation to this part of the engine and it previously went into the air filter box which i don't have anymore so i will have to put a, 
a filter on here. Let's start with the logo. ACF 50 on there. Get it all over the place. When it feels like you're petting a dolphin, I, I think it's ready. So the box will go in here and up here like that <clears throat> and then the battery yeah and uh, the stuff in here all the cables, igniter, somehow, and all the extra cables in there. It's not super clean. I can do the electrics someday when I have a lot of time, but right now I just want to get rid of it and make it somewhat clean. Here comes the welder. Hello! The welder. Yeah. Sehr gut. today is start the engine time. Yep. Tank is tight. I'm not leaking. Time 
time for some air filters. I've got the high quality ones from DNA. Like that. Nice. I think without the fenders it looks really cool, but I'm actually going to use it. So I'm actually I'm going to reuse this original fender in the front. Something like that, but of course paint it black. So front fender painted, I added the stripes that I have on the fuel tank, clear coated it and it goes on here. So I have this cardboard thing and now Samer made me, yeah, uh, he welded uh, it for me and made it sort of metal. It's not the most elegant solution, but it's a solution. <laughs> then perhaps I have also this back rear fender perhaps i can fasten it onto the box here and then we have the new fender bolted in here actually used zip ties here but it's really sitting there Yeah, that works. Do I need this? Should I take it away? I think I will take it away actually. Would this fit? Something like that. We need some padding in here too. Okay, everything's connected. The wrong one. And there. Um, right. I think I have it now. So, backlight, braking, left, little twitch there, but right. Like so. To be really legal. Why not? Keeping it tidy. Final touch. This needs to be tidied up a bit, but... Something like that. And then just secure this here. All right. Starts like a charm. And so she is finished. Not finished, but at least she is ride ready. 
there will always be more things to do and this was my first uh, attempt on any bike so I will yeah fix things that I made half poorly but still it's a cool project and come spring I will ride her down to France actually in a cool little touring project that you will have to stay tuned for because I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, first time, many mistakes, but what am I going to do for the rest of the winter? I don't know. Maybe yeah, improve some stuff. Thanks for watching and please don't be too hard on a first timer. <laughs> uh, so see you in the next one. Cheers.